Good morning, good friends. Good morning. Welcome to another absolutely beautiful Sunday in God's presence. Welcome into the wide open sanctuary of God's creation. No better place to worship and to gather. Thanks be to you, O God, that we have risen this day to the rising of this life itself. May the, may the purpose of God be between us and each person, the hand of God between us and each hand, the pain of Christ between us and each pain, the love of Christ between us and each love. O God, you brought us to the light of this new day. Bring us to the guiding light of eternity. We gather in God's name and we claim Christ's promised presence. Brothers and sisters, not out of dread or fear, but believing in the understanding and the forgiveness of God, let us rid ourselves of what we no longer need to carry. Eternal maker of the endless heavens, Christ, befriender of the changing earth, Holy Spirit, wind over the flowing waters, in earth, sea, and sky, you are ever present. O hidden mystery, sun behind all suns, soul within all souls, in everything we touch, in everyone we meet, you are there. We give you thanks. But where we have not touched but trampled you in creation, where we have not honored but avoided you in one another, where we have not received but rejected your goodness, forgive us, O oh God, and hear our plea for your pardon. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Friends, we know that God is good and that to those who are truly sorry, God forgives what is past. And better still, he enables us to begin again. Once we were no people, now we are God's people. Once we were beyond God's mercy, now that mercy has been given to us. So let us live as those who treasure God's costly generosity by safeguarding God's earth, by delighting in its people, by loving our maker, to whom be glory forever. Thanks be to God. Amen.
hear the words of Psalm 34. I will bless my maker at all times, whose praise is forever on my lips. My soul will glorify God. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Together let us praise God's greatness. Together let us honor God's holy name. I looked for God who answered me, bringing freedom from all my fears. Those who look to God become radiant. Their faces show no shame. God hears those who cry for help and saves them from all their troubles. The angel of God keeps watch over those who revere their maker. Taste and see, God is good, a shelter to saints and to seekers. Hold God in awe, you holy people, thus you will find fulfillment. Even princes grow poor and hungry, but God's children shall want for nothing. Let us come to God with our prayers for others and for ourselves. Holy God, who in Jesus touched the earth, admiring its beauty and blessing its people, we honor you for the gift of life and all the gifts that life brings us. Food, and shelter, and company, experiences that make us think, the people who bring out the best in us. Here are prayers for the places in this world where the beauty has turned to ugliness, where food has been replaced by famine, where for friendship has been forgotten, and fear, hostility, and hopelessness have gained the upper hand. God, in your mercy, bring healing bring peace. Here are prayers for people who cannot pray because of pain or loss or worry. And for those who will not love themselves and thus cannot love their neighbor. God, in your mercy, bring healing, bring peace. Here are prayers for ourselves our private yearnings, our secret hopes, and any doubt, jealousy, or anger to which we hold too tightly. God, in your mercy, bring healing, bring peace. Bring health, bring safety. Bring togetherness. God, in your mercy, bring healing and bring peace.
Sure enough, by magic, there's an animal in the bag. I brought one along this morning. I don't know if he's happy about this kind of weather. Probably not. It's not his favorite. Can you uh, recognize him? Pretty good teeth on there. Okay. I have a little quiz question for you this morning. You, you know what oysters? Oh, sorry. You know what uh, what walruses normally eat? I gave you that one, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was just the warm up. The question is, how do you suppose he eats them? Now you think on that a bit and I'll tell you a little story. Uh, there's a legend that in, in the first few days of creation, uh, God didn't just make the animals. He went around and visited them, uh, gave them a little advice as to what their diet was going to be. Might even have given them a few tips about how to get them. So he's coming by the walrus and he said, and, now, and what would you really like to eat? Walrus says, well, I've heard that oysters are awfully tasty. I've seen some other animals that eat them. I think I'd like some of those. God says, yes, indeed, that will be your diet. <laughs> uh, the walrus raised his flipper and said, but I have a question. How am I going to eat them? God said, well, you said some other animals eat them. Think about what they do. How do they get in there? Well, by this time, the walrus had seen people eating their oysters. And he said, it looks to me like you need a pretty special kind of tool to open those things up. And then he asked God, have you ever tried to open an oyster with one of these big things? I said, no, no, you're not going to be able to do that. He said, well, I've seen my friend the sea otter taking some animal mollusks in shells. And I've noticed that he lies on his back and he takes a rock and he sort of spashes them and, until the shell falls apart. And that works pretty good for him. God said, well, would you try that? Walrus says, oh, no way. I can't hold rocks with my, look at these flippers. I don't have hands like a sea otter. How am I going to do that? When it comes to handling special tools or even big rocks, I really suck. In fact, he said, I suck at just about everything I try to do. God winked at the walrus and said, Aha! There you have it. How does the walrus eat his oysters? <laughs> he doesn't have teeth. He doesn't get his, his tusk in there. He's got a great big tongue like a cow, and he's got a soft palate on the top that works sort of like a suction cup. He puts the oyster in there and he sucks the thing open. Boy, he sucks good and <laughs> the food tastes all right. <laughs> Thus far in our experience with COVID, we've, we've been learning to uh, be a little bit creative in how we do things, how we do things now compared to how we used to do. Uh, it has called for some real creative thinking. And sometimes God tells us, answers our frustration with something like this. You've already got the tools. Figure it out. Try it yourself. We'll see this guy later at the barbecue. <laughs> Let us close our service with this benediction. Friends, now go in peace to do what God wills to follow where Christ leads, pray for the gifts of the Spirit, and may the blessing of God, the Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer rest on you and remain with you now and forever. Amen.
Friends, thank you for coming out again today. Thank you, Ian. Wonderful music. God be with you and keep you well. Why did you use me for food?